What's up, Soul Squad? Welcome back to my kitchen. From the title, from the picture, banana pudding cupcakes. Yes, that's what we're going to make. And you know how I got that little look on top, the little burnt look that you get when you make old-fashioned um, banana pudding in the oven? So, this is what I used. This professional quality culinary torch by Labia. That's right. That's yeah. it, right? By Labia. Guys, they have so many great products. And I always wanted to use a torch. Never had reason to use the torch before until they contact me. Why not? So I partnered up with them. What I like about this torch that it has a very easy safety lock right here that's very um, easy to use. This little knob right here, it controls the flames coming in and out. You can make it high, you can make it low. I like the fact that it's durable heavy metal right here it grip look the grip is fantastic i you know love how to it. use it right yeah <laughs> know how to uh, use it i like the grip and then it lasts for 60 minutes you guys so which that's a whole hour if you're doing anything you have to worry about like refilling it or anything like that i really love this i'm so excited to use it so if you want to make my banana pudding cupcakes the way i make my banana pudding mm, we ain't doing no tea. <laughs> if you want to make my banana pudding cupcakes the way I make mine, guys, I recommend this. In the description box below, it's going to be a link to their website. And when you go purchase this, guys, just remember to use the promo code SoulfulT10. Let's make banana pudding cupcakes. I'm so excited to use this. What can I do? Let me show you guys how it works. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please, I ain't trying to like Michael Jackson on <laughs> And then you use that to turn it off. Yay! I can't wait. I'm so excited. We'll be right back. Your favorite cupcake pan. You see, I had the line with vanilla, with Nella wafer cookies. Just like I know you guys, we I always talk about going budgeting, but anything dealing with banana pudding, I always get this. I'm sorry, it's just like it just makes everything taste so much better. Um, by Nabisco, I gotta use those. But anything else, I go cheap on. <laughs> Okay, so in this pan right here, I'm not really going to show you guys how I make my own pudding because I do have an um, old-fashioned banana pudding recipe up. You can go take a look at that. But um, in here, I have one cup of sugar, four egg yolks, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and four tablespoons of cornstarch. Into this, I'm going to add two cups of whole milk. That's for the banana pudding. I'm going to make this off camera. I'm going to link in the video to my... Um, old-fashioned banana pudding and you can really sh see how to make this I have milk for the banana pudding but if yeah, banana pudding have one cup of buttermilk room temperature three eggs at room temperature vanilla the egg whites guys is for the meringue so cream of tart for the meringue some sugar I had two cups of flour here I had, uh, one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder. And to this, instead of, your yeah, brandy using ketchup, we ain't making up with ketchup. <laughs> they be like, well, she had ketchup up there. Where she put the ketchup in? No. <laughs> Somebody had a hot dog girl. Somebody had a hot dog girl. <laughs> and so, um, and right here, instead of using um, some bananas, so I went to the store, the bananas was green. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't get them. So what I did is I grabbed a box of um, instant pudding banana mix instant pudding banana mix and i add that whole box to here so inside this you got two cups of um cake flour a half a teaspoon of salt two teaspoons of baking powder and one box of instant banana pudding mix that's gonna get your banana cream and right here we have two cups one cup of butter softened butter with two sticks of softened butter at room temperature and a cup and a half of ah, sugar and, I'm a, and we also going to use some vanilla in this. And also for your banana pudding, you're going to need two tablespoons of um, butter and a, a teaspoon of um, vanilla. But we're going to do this first. Don't cream the 
this all together. I can't wait to use that torch. I've been dying to use that torch. Mm -hmm. Let's take about a good five or six minutes, guys. Because I want it to get really, really fluffy before I add in my three eggs. So I'm going to scrape down the sides. That's the cream cheese milk. There's no cream cheese in here. This two sticks of soft and butter and a cup and a half of sugar. Oh, that's the milk I'm smelling. Oh, that's probably buttermilk. Yeah, buttermilk, my bad, yeah. That's that cup of buttermilk you're smelling. I'm a dog today, I smell everything. Mmm. What that mean? I don't know what dog smells too. I don't know. I don't know either. You say what it mean. You don't want to say it. I know somebody said, oh my god, you should crack your eggs in the bowl but they won't be shells so and make sure that they're good. Just put the eggs and I hardly never. I don't I don't think I ever I gonna say never, but not lately. I, I did a shell in my um I'm going in with two. I love vanilla. Guys, I told you pure vanilla. I found this vanilla at Walmart. It's bacon vanilla. It's really good, good vanilla. Mm. It's a little bit cheaper than what I've been using, and I like it. You smell it? Yes. Mmm. Two teaspoons, honey. I want that vanilla in there. Let it come through. Mm. Oh, shoot. Oh, that smells mm. good. Preheat the oven. I forgot. 350. This hit bake. And oil. There you go. Let me scrape down the sides. I want my eggs to really come together in this recipe. Guys, the meat and greet is Saturday. Yes, we're going to start cooking tomorrow. Today, because today Thursday. This video going up today. Only, there's only one full video this week. So I did take you guys shopping, but while we preparing the food Friday night, we're going to get some wine. Me, my sister, and Keisha will be at my sister's house cooking and everything. I'm going too. You said wine. <laughs> you said wine. <laughs> I'm going to go now. And so, we're going to be on with the wine. Okay. So now, I'm going in with my um, dry ingredients. Ooh. A little bit at a time. Over some of my buttermilk. This is a cup of buttermilk, you guys. That banana. Smells so so good in here. We gotta get rid of all this stuff. Clean all this stuff up. I'll we'll speed it up. Oh, it smells good. Oh, I think my kitchen aid broke. But you know me when you speed it up like that, it'll be going to town. That's enough. I don't want to overdo it. So I said, oh, you beating that batter too long. Look, I'm going to take it out. This smell awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Between that vanilla and the instant banana pudding in here. See, I don't need this for my, um, when I make my meringue. Mm -hmm. I use my whip. Whip it, baby. Let's whip it right. Let's whip it, baby. Let's whip it all night. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Let it whip. I'm old school, y'all. Oh, she's disturbing <laughs> me with that song. <laughs> I'm going to stir this up. Make sure I get the bottom. Scrape it, scrape it, scrape it. My oven's still preheating. I got my nail wafers in the bottom of my. Um, my cupcake liners, all this is going in the sink. Let me get my um ice cream scoop and we'll be back. Okay, guys, so I already started. I couldn't find my scooper, so I just used the spoon. And you got your vanilla wafers in the bottom of your cupcake liners. 
because that's your cookie. But we're going to garnish with cookies on top. We're going to put these in the oven. They're not going to take long to cook on 350. Mm. And these are going to oven from 350. And I already told you what I had here. I'm putting in my two cups of milk. Again, turn this on the medium. I'm about to stir and look at Empire at the same time. Okay, because it's Wednesday night, we're making them, but you guys get the video Thursday in the oven on 350 until they're done. About 8 or 10 minutes, 12 minutes top. Okay, guys, look, I did it for people who really want to go back and look at the channel. I turned the stove off, the pudding is stick. I'm going in with two tablespoons of butter. Yeah, I stir. You have to constantly stir this. And one teaspoon of vanilla. So you really don't have to go back and look at that video unless you want to. But I made the pudding. And if you're scared to do this, if you're scared, if this is a challenge for you guys, by all means, you know, get the instant pudding. If you're scared to do this. Now that's my vanilla pudding. My pudding is going to go inside the cupcakes in the middle. See, cupcakes are still cooking. That pudding came out awesome. So when we come back, the cupcakes are going to be done, and they're going to be cooled. And I'm going to put this in the bowl, and put a plastic wrap down on it, but I'm going to get that little skin stuff and let this cool down. My pudding. So that's why we're back. Two dozen cupcakes that I have here. <laughs> Two dozen cupcakes that my body made. Guys, we got to let this really cool down the pudding cool mm -hmm. down yeah that's good to eat that's like the tops of the um cupcakes the pudding cool down and um that the cupcakes cool down the pudding cool down so we could go on now you as you can tell as the magic of youtube cameras and everything i already dug holes in my cupcakes i left three that was not done i used my granddaughter's baby spoon and if you have a measuring spoon or anything you could use that if someone could actually eat the in the inside, I won't be placing it back <laughs> on top. <laughs> Brandon, he, Brandon Jackson them eating the inside. What? Yeah, you get one. And so, I don't know if my arm in the way, because Brandon too busy eating the cupcakes that's in the center. And I'm taking my, my pudding, and I'm placing it in the center. The pudding came out good. Again, guys, you could use, um, have my pudding in the refrigerator. Once it cooled down, stuff it down inside that hole. And these cupcakes do have to go in the refrigerator so they won't go spoil because you have pudding in them. Mm -hmm. Just like your banana pudding go in the refrigerator, these go in the refrigerator. Okay, so I got like six more cupcakes left to do. I'm not doing those right now. That pudding came out great. Right here. I have those four egg whites that I use those four egg yolks on to make my pudding. And I have a half a cup of sugar in here. And I'm just going to go in with just a prima tata. It really makes your, um, I, it's not even a measurement because I just put a, a what did you say? A, um, what somebody say? You just put a dab of prima tata, a pinch of something. Just a pinch of prima tata. And a half a cup of sugar, a pinch of prima tata. You can do this with a hand mixer, you guys. I can't hand mix not nothing. I got this on high speed, and this is gonna whip up into a good egg, a good um, meringue. I have my parchment bag right here. Yeah, we, we talk about that later. I hate talking on top of this thing. This is on high speed, and it's gonna take some time to whip. Oh, whip it, baby. Whip again. Whip it, right? Whip it, baby. Whip it all night. Right. Oh, I don't have no ready. No. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I don't understand. There might not be a lot of water on the side of freezing. It's on high speed, you guys. You guys. <laughs> it's on high speed so far. So I'm just going to let it do what it do. This is going to take a minute. So 
to get that foam down with the pour to whip it up and make that meringue. See, it's something about, oh, I need a new blender. I'm gonna give me a new kitchen aid. You see how this thing just got ghost? It was a ghost. You know how it speeds up because I already had it on 10? I knew something was wrong. I probably won't be using this much longer. But that's okay. All good things come to it then. I done had it. Maybe you can do it. See the foam foaming up? That's a certain. Oh. I see you eat the pudding. <laughs> Brandon say, oh, still the pudding, still the inside cupcake. We don't good. get it all. It's good. The pudding's good. We don't get it all together. I don't, I don't like talking on this part. We'll be back when this is nice and ready. I had a deja vu. Oh, I got my thumb I know, up. I know, but I had a deja vu. You know how you get caught in a deja vu? You just remember this moment? No, I thought you was having a vision like that's so raving. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I had this moment before a long time ago oh my goodness my stuff is ready see that peak see that peak my stuff is ready so i'll push this back i had a day job i haven't had one of those in a long time since i was a teenager this is going inside my partial inside my um what's what, my pastry bag Guys, because if you don't have a pastry bag, you could do what you do a long years ago. You could use a um, freezer bag. Okay, somebody always calls when I make a video. And I got through not to serve one, and it still comes through. So, I got my meringue in my pastry bag. And I have my little star tip. I guess I'm going to go over here. And I'm just going to go just like this. One by one. Over top of the um the pudding. <laughs> now I know I should be holding it with two hands. <laughs> Randy, what's so funny? Eleven inches with the sun. <laughs> and we just going like this. Over top of the pudding. Mmm, beautiful. Might have used put some more meringue in here. But it's coming together. And I always center my um, icing around my um, pudding. Okay, that's a mess. <laughs> Let me add some more meringue in here. I'll do this successfully. Hopefully, because this is so sticky. It's really, really sticky. And this is such a mess. It's so sticky. But I got to open it up like this. My hands. I'm going to be washing my hands in a minute, guys. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so messy, so sticky. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll be back. <laughs> Oh, you got me on camera. I wish you. <laughs> oh, I'm going for that seat. So, this meringue is so sticky, you guys. I'm sorry. But right around that pudding. And we're going to wash our hands. I'm finished. Thank you, I'm finished. Let me wash my hands. Yay. <laughs> Yay, hooray. I hate doing that when I make these cupcakes. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. The meringue. Beautiful. <laughs> it's so sticky. I hate dealing with this. Okay. So, push that to the side. I'm not going to use a torch here. Just wait one second. I'm excited, though. 
because I can't wait for my decorations. My cookies. We gonna stick more cookies. Your kids will love this. It's like banana pudding. These are some dark um vanilla, vanilla wafers. wafers. <laughs> Except that's the lightest one. <laughs> it's banana cookie. I need to get some perfect ones out of here. Man, they are. And the only reason I put this on here before I use the torch, because once it get hard, you won't be able to um stick the cookie on it the way I want. Cream peak. These two get stuck together. <laughs> we twins. Right, they merge and they don't want to come apart. We will never be apart. Never. No, I ain't gonna back up for this. <laughs> I gotta back up for this. Brandon, right, stop playing with me. <laughs> Brandon right, said, I need to back up for this. Okay. So, let me. They finish yet? They finish? Hello. I'm almost. Hurry up. <laughs> Since this got gas and I got a gas stove, I'm going to do that to him. Okay, guys. Let me move that right there for you, man. Brandon's going to move everything. All right. This is a test. I'm gonna take it off the stand. I love the stand. See the quick, the stand that comes on, you can sit right there. Mm -hmm. Sit on there. This is the safety thing. Like safety thing. Right here, you cut this side, you cut it on. And you just click that. Oh, <laughs> oh I got that on. But I wanna turn it down some. Because we're gonna have a fit. I'm just gonna take one cupcake. One of that. And you don't want to, um. Oh, you got. I ain't lifting that up doing that. And you just torch just like that. Hey. Make it so nice and pretty. Why are you just gonna do it like that? One? I am. Okay, you trying to show off. I ain't trying to show off. Not too close. <laughs> Ready? You retarded. I just get my go. I just see you with like the cookie <laughs> on fire, bro. Parents, you do this. Don't let the children do it. Oh! <laughs> Ready? Why are you doing that? <laughs> I want to get you. <laughs> you make me know what. Okay. Then you gotta do the back end to be okay like that. The front. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys. Okay. I turned it. Can it go lower than that? Fire, bro. <laughs> and it's off, and we're finished. <laughs> oh my god! Well, you got people like Brandon around you trying to do stuff. He make you nervous. But guys, follow directions. It's so easy to use. Don't let your children use it. Parents, please use this. But <laughs> oh my god! If you want your professional culinary um, torch. In the script, description below in my box, um, the link is there. <laughs> the link is there. Um, you use Soulful Tea as a promo code and you get a discount, guys. My banana cookies. Oh no, what is it called? Banana cupcakes. Like, share. Oh. <laughs> Likes, I forget so much. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Banana pudding cupcakes. 
this is your holiday Easter ham. I gotta make another one on Sunday, but I did this just for you guys. So, once again, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.